Tammy Turner back in the building. Man, oh man, Tammy Turner, Tammy Turner, man. What uh, what 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 what's been good with you? I you know I've been following you on uh, Instagram religiously, but it just seems like you just stopped like cold turkey. Like what happened? Uh, what, what happened to you? What, and what you been into? What's going on? Oh, uh, you know, I've just been driving and trucking, but uh. Team driving, you know, it slowed down a lot of my social media because, you know, when you ain't driving, you're sleeping. And when you're back there sleeping, you're bouncing around. You're not really getting that much good sleep. So, uh, you, you team driving female or male? Yeah, it's kind of slowed down on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. No, I'd say you team, you, you team driving female or male? Yeah, female, female. Oh, okay. 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 How long? How long? How, how long have y'all been? How long y'all been team driving? Uh, a little over, a little over six months, and we've made uh two hundred and twenty three thousand dollars in six months. Oh, okay. That's uh, <laughs> whose idea was the, who? Whose idea was the team drive? Yours? Because last time we talked, we I, I believe you were solo. Yeah, I was solo. Um, well, it was kind of both of ours because um, she was buying the truck, um, and she was, and I was like, "Well, I'm looking to uh, be home a little bit more, but uh, still be OTR because I do not like local. I tried it before and I just couldn't do it." Um, she was like, "Well, why don't you come on here?" And I was like, "Yeah, you know." we could double up the payments and get the truck paid for and stuff and uh, then work on, I'd get my own. Uh, so, yeah, that's how that, that started. Uh, we, it was kind of both of our idea. Okay, okay. So back to your uh, social medias, being that being that you're, uh, are, are you OTR team drive or regional team drive or what? Yeah, yeah. Well, we have a dedicated route. We run out of Cincinnati to L.A. to Compton to Denver to Syracuse in four and a half days. Wow. That's some miles for your ass right there. That's a good – shit, that's even a good run for a solo driver. What's up? So the, the company <laughs> that y'all leased on to, are y'all are y'all leased – is it out of Cincinnati or, or? – No, it's out of Louisville, Mercer. Oh, we, uh, okay. We, Tagged on the truck to Mercer. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So this is straight dedicated. Nothing, nothing, nothing else. Is this like, uh, is this like something that you already know pre, uh, pre, or is it still dispatch from a dispatcher? No, we we pick our own loads um, out of Mercer. It, Mercer is an owner op um, company. Pretty much, you have to have either be leasing your truck or own, have your own truck to come on to Mercer. Okay, that's what's up. Shout out to Mercer. Okay, okay. So back to your social media, you you were saying that, you know, you unfortunately being that your team drive, you, you, you pretty much don't have that much time to, uh, to you know, to do that. Right. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, Tammy, oh, man, let's yeah. let's let's start with this. Before we start with the accident, let's start with the let's start with the stalker, man. What, what what's up? How did that come about? Oh my god, um, that's way before I even started into trucking a couple of years ago. A guy called my phone out of nowhere. I answered it. Mm -hmm. It was the wrong number, but he was talking about um, suicide and stuff. And I was like. Okay, me being a nurse at the time, I was like, well, let me talk to him. Right. Let me, talk you know, see if I can help, help the situation because, you know, I mean, I, and then it became where he started calling me more often. Okay. And it was okay at first. I just thought, well, okay, he needs a friend. Let me do this. And then it just got to where it was all the time and then he would call me and say well why aren't you answering your phone and this that or whatever I'm like Ooh. dude I don't know you I mean I know you but I don't know you 
Oh, it sounds. And it sounds like it got a little of... weird, and I I changed my phone number. Well, the next day I got a phone call from a different number that I didn't know. Right. And it just became random like that, and it, it ended up I blocked his number thirty six so times. Wait, he was able to he was able to find your new number. I don't know how. Wow. Wait. So your your, your how, numbers your your numbers not public, is it? Because like if you got you know like on Instagram, yeah, like on Instagram, it'd be like you know you could you could put your number to public on that. But telemarketers but, can get it. You know, I mean, telemarketers can get it. So right. I don't know. Yeah. Damn, but um, but since times. I've changed my number the last time, he, I haven't gotten another call. But he did try to contact me through Facebook, and I blocked his right. new page. Right. I'm like, what the fuck? Wow, 36 times. That's... Yeah, 36 numbers I had to block. And that, I never met the guy. That, never that, met him face Nothing. That, that, that would be kind of... That would be kind of scary to you, wasn't it? I mean, how how did you feel that you had it to, was. that you had to block this dude like thirty six times? I mean, uh, it came to the point of yeah. yeah, it came to the point of being stalkerish, but also became to a point of being harassment too. Right, it, it was a little scary. I was like, well, what if he's following me? What if he knows where I'm at? What if, I mean, on the truck, I wasn't so much worried, but when I was on my home time, I was like, I just wonder if he knows where I'm at. Wow, that's that that is kind of scary. What do you, what do you got to now for you know for like tips? Um, and being that this happened, this happened to you. Um, and this was just no, I don't, this was just from a phone call. Like he just out of the blue called you, and then it just turned. It went from right to left real quick, but. What do you, what do you, how, you know, what, what kind of advice or what kind of tips you, you say about, uh, you say about these, these trucking females that got social media that be all on their social media, you know, doing what they doing, you know, what, right. what kind of, what kind of advice or tips you got for them to try to, you know, to be safe? Well, the, the thing that I do, even when I was, still on my social media, I didn't post where I was until I'd already left that location. Mm -hmm. um, so I was already leaving out from that location when I posted I'm there. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. Um, That's a good that way, too. That way, that if you did have an issue with someone stalking you and you didn't know it, you would, feel, you would be a little bit safer. Um, they still might have your general location, but they, but they don't know that you're actually there because you're gone. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. That. That's what's up. Um, try not to, try not to, you know, because there is some pretty weirdos out there. Try not to, you know, pinpoint your your location while you're there. That's that's the only thing I can say is don't post what truck stop you're at. Don't post where you are until you're gone. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So, man. So, after after blocking this guy thirty six times, are is is he still a trouble trouble to you or no? no? This last time that I changed my phone number, I've had this phone number for um a little over a little over five months, six months, something like that. But yeah, I haven't had any trouble with this phone number at all. Well. I, I I I hope that never, uh, I hope that never happens again, uh, for you. So you know that you don't have to be, you know, paranoid or being scared out here. You know, while you know while trucking. Right. Um. All right. So fast forward up into the accident, man. What? Oh uh, yeah, that was Friday night, Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, New York. Um. I was actually on the on-ramp trying to get back onto 90, mm -hmm. and I just went through the little toll thing. Um, I can't remember what exit it was, but it was in Batavia, right before, in between Buffalo and Rochester. Um, 
I'd gotten off, did my thing there, came back on. Uh, I was moving a little slow. I seen a little car coming up because, you know, the, the, the on-ramp, it was curving to the left, and then you curved to the right and got back on. Mm-hmm. But I could see the little car, and he was flying, and I was like, oh, my God. And so I hit my four ways. I was like, do you see me? Right. And then he blows his horn and just rams into the back of the car. I mean, the truck. What? Into the trailer. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> like, he just rammed us. <laughs> I mean, he just rammed us. And um, so, of course, my co-driver, she heard it. It really didn't feel much. It was more like a pothole. You know mm-hmm. how you hit a pop, loud pothole? Mm-hmm. Um, she jumps up. I said, will you call 911? We're right here at the split coming off of 98, getting on to 90. We're, we just went through the toll. We're not. We're on the on-ramp. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I moved the truck up a little bit while she was calling 911. Get out of the truck. Go back there to see, check the driver. And... um He's steadily trying to move the car. <laughs> what he trying to do? Hit and run or something? Yes. So he I'm was like, actually so he was uh, stuck up under the trailer. No, he wasn't stuck because I moved the truck off of him. Oh wow! So wait, did did he hit the truck or the trailer? The trailer. He hit the trailer, the DOT bumper down there. Wow! It didn't and, 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 it, it, and, it, it, it scratch it nothing. And then the car just the the car just was incapacitated, but he still tried to. Oh yeah, try to it move was it. Smoking and all the fluids were leaking out, it, wow. and he's steadily, steadily on the gas, revving the car up, saying it won't go, it won't go, and the little horn is just <laughs> sound horrible. Wait a minute, he's <laughs> saying that like yes. He- <laughs> I'm looking at this guy going. I said, okay, you have all kinds of smoke. How about we kill the motor? Right. And so he turned the motor off. And then he said, wait, it won't go in park. I said, you're not moving anywhere, so I don't think it really will matter. Wow. So after after that happened, uh, of course, uh, of course, state troopers or local police came. Yeah, state troopers. Um, he took my information. Mm-hmm. He, I don't know if he ever got the information from the, the guy driving the car, but his brother showed up out of nowhere with no vehicle around. <laughs> and he said he walked to the accident. Um, I was like, okay. And then while we were talking with the officer, the guy that hit us left on foot. What is going on with these with with these hit and run drivers? I mean, we had we had two uh, incidents that's dealing with uh, that's dealing with truck drivers that that actually hit. Uh, I think one of them was with that uh, officer involved. Uh, she perished in that accident, and the driver walked called himself walking away from that one. And then there was another incident on the on the off ramp where the driver was backing up in the and the four wheeler like smashed into his his truck and he got out the truck and and called himself try to walk away from that one. So now we got mm. this now we got this four wheeler smashing in the back of your truck and then he called himself mm-hmm. trying to walk away. What what is going on? Well first he tried to drive away and he when he couldn't manage that um, and he, you know, we waited almost 40 minutes for the officer to, you know, do his thing with, with my side. Um, and that was with, you know, uh, his arrival and everything. Um, and then all, the brother telling the officer, well, he was emotional. I had, I just told him to go, go, go to my house. What, 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 what really? Looked at him like, Why would you do that? Right, right, right. Right, like, because he's drunk. Because he was drunk, he was belligerent, and oh, he was belligerent one minute, and then he'd be crying and whining the next minute. Okay, and I was so like, he tried it. So he tried. So he sent him off. Yeah, he okay. was kind of protecting. Like, let me not get him a DWI. 
but he but I'm 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 sure that they had to go back to the house to serve him, right? Or what? Yeah, I don't know. The officer told us we were free to go. I was freezing. It was negative 13 wind chill factor. Mm-hmm. Been outside for quite a few minutes. My legs, um, the skin on my legs was stinging, and I was wearing blue jeans. <laughs> and so I got in the truck and got warmed up before I could even grab the steering wheel to, to drive off. Right. Man, well, I'm I'm glad uh, that you came on to share your story, man, and I'm I'm glad that you was all right and everything, you know, worked out for you guys. Um, did the well, well, since he already left, the officer couldn't even get his information to pass it on to you guys, whether he had insurance or not, right? Right, right. Oh, it's, there was no damage. To the trailer at all i mean it didn't bend it didn't scratch the dot sticker nothing um totally damaged his car but yeah we, we could see that he, in a in the video or in the yeah, pictures yeah, that was show. Kia Rio, if any you know it was a kia rio so you know versus a 18 wheeler dot bumper <laughs> you know right uh, Tammy, man, what, 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 you know, with all this social media that's going on, you, you is on the one app that I am definitely not a fan of. I, I only, I only use this app, you know, just to connect with new people and everything like that. But this, this app, this TikTok is, is really a garbage ass app. Why, why you started doing, uh, uh, started posting on it? I started the TikTok with. Just the trucking, the driving um, um, videos. A lot of people never even leave the city that they live in. So, you know, just the beauty that we see out here. I wish everybody could see it. Exactly. There's a lot of there's a lot of you know messed up things to see, but there's a lot of beauty out here too. And so I started posting the, the driving videos and um, then I just kind of branched out from there and posting other stuff too. So. All right. All right. Tammy, man. Welcome back. You know, friend of the show. Uh, well, again, man, thank you very much for coming on to share uh, what happened to you and everything. Um, What's uh what's 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 next? Uh, are are you still? I mean, y'all two gonna buy the truck together, or y'all gonna you know buy another truck? What's what's yeah? Uh, this one will be paid, this one will be paid for in September, and yes, we have been talking about buying um um another truck, maybe a studio sleeper or um. The, the ones that um, you can get from ARI that has the, like the mini apartment with the shower and everything in it right. and continuing doing the, the team driving because we get along great. Um, That's what I was going to ask you. How, how, how is it? Uh, how it, now being that you already knew her uh, prior, but right. getting into a truck and being in a confined space, you know, damn near 24 hours a day, how how's the relationship between the t- between the two women? Oh, we've been we've been great. We've had, you know we don't really have any issues. Um, when we do take home time, you know we usually take a week off, and she'll go to Alabama, and I'll go to Arkansas, and because we now live here in the Louisville area, um, but uh, so we get our time away, and you know. That's the biggest thing is being team drivers, don't bottle up your feelings that bother you f- for the other driver. Mm-hmm. Get it out. Tell them. Mm-hmm. Don't harp on it. Don't hold it. But get it out, say it, and get it over with. Because the more you hold it inside, the more it builds up, and then it becomes a huger problem than what it is. That goes for that. That goes for team, uh, not for just team drivers, but for training. That goes training for life, too, right? That just goes for life, period. Yeah, that goes for training. And I training. had to learn to do that because I, I would always just be like, okay, I don't know, you know, okay, okay, and then that okay becomes into, a, you know, 
Yeah, a problem. Huge mess. Uh huh. <laughs> it does. It does, and that's the biggest thing: team driving or life. Period. Relationships. Anything that you deal with, and you know, even coworkers mm-hmm. that you know you might be side by side. If something bothers you, if they're not doing something right, say it. Don't hold it. Exactly. Well, and there's, and it's not what you say; it's how you say it. So, how you approach someone with something is a big thing too. All right, all right, Tammy Turner. I was about to call you Tammy. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Well, thank you very much again for coming on to the show. I really do appreciate it. You know, I understand you got, you know, you're a little bit busy, so I'm going to go in and let you go. But everybody knows that the best conversation starts over here at the Lockout Man podcast show. So I really do appreciate my my guest coming on and uh, sharing her story and uh, sharing what happened to her and maybe, you know, maybe uh, some tips along the way. So, Miss uh, Tammy Turner. You can also find her on TikTok up under Tammy Turner. Or is it something else? What's what's your name on TikTok? Uh, is it Tammy Turner? What is my name on TikTok? Oh, what? Queen Touch. Queen um, Touch on TikTok. Yes, it's K Q W E E N T U T 73. All right, that is what's up. So, guys, go over there and follow her, and uh, hopefully uh, we can get back together soon. Yes, sir. All right, ma'am, you take it easy, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. You too. Be safe out there. I will.